All right. So we are on here with my brother Curtis, who is from the Asset Empire group. Didn't go as well as I wanted it to go, but he's still rocking with me. And guess what? We are able to deliver his directory. I call it a Yelp clone. It looks nothing like Yelp, but it's a directory, just so you guys know what that is. Um, and this directory is for health practitioners and wellness creators. Curtis, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. Curtis Witt, uh, and I own a couple of businesses, and we are a couple of those businesses are in the wellness community, uh, a CBD uh, shop, and as well as a couple of massage therapy uh, places, and and looking to uh, basically put together the directory of the individuals that are taking advantage of of putting. Uh, uh, putting offers into our uh, wellness uh, affiliate network. So we'll have those individuals and we'll most likely start off with putting them in the directory, at least initially cutting the legs off from under everybody for free and then yes, monetizing uh, the directory through other ways. Um, yes, and, and most importantly, if I get them as collaborators and partners, now I can start offering services like automation services and things of that nature that allows me to get access to the real goal. All of these are um, you can certainly monetize them and you can certainly make a lot of money. And the real gold is their email list. For sure. That's where we're trying to go. For so, for sure. yeah. Hey, man, I couldn't say it no better, man. So as y'all can see, this one is going to be action packed. He's a very seasoned entrepreneur, not in age, but in experience. And you guys are going to learn a lot. So the goal of this uh, video right here is to show Curtis as well as you guys who might be interested in getting assets how to fill up your assets so we're going to start with like free to cheap to you know paid ways of filling up your assets there's not enough to have the platform itself anybody can clone out a platform for pennies right but right. do you know how to fill it up with people that actually want to be there and how to monetize it. And he mentioned just a minute ago, if you approach people the same way as other people do, then you're going to have a harder time filling up your platform. I just dropped a video this morning, um, uh, 7.45 a.m., about how to be the only person people buy from ever, okay? And the only way you can do that is positioning yourself uniquely you can't be a, a just some like somebody else so even though we're talking about a clone of yelp how he's going to operate his platform how he's going to position his offers is going to be extremely different from anyone else so now let's move on to step one okay all right step one of like filling up any platform or selling any product or service or whatever is traffic you need people like everybody, they want to be the best. They want to have the best product or service or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But then you have no people. You have to get people. When they say the money is in the list, that is the truth. I don't like, you know, repeating things that everybody say, but it's the truth. What kind of list? Oh, that can be email list. That can be, you know, SMS mobile list. That can be Facebook DM list, Instagram. It doesn't matter an audience, traffic, people. So the first thing we're going to do with, with uh, Curtis's wellness directory is we're going to scrape leads, okay? So, you know, of course, we want to create like a channel so, you know, you can start creating content uh, about wellness and everything like that and get organic people coming to it and everything. You want to create a, a defensive strategy, which is your positioning and an offensive strategy, which is your outreach. Okay. So you want active and not, and then a passive. Okay. So right. uh, scraping the leads, this is going to give us uh, like a faster, uh, what is it called speed to market, right? All mm -hmm. right. Give people the heads up that we're available now. Oh, they can jump on. So as you can see, we have an image right here. This is just a, a file with emails, names, addresses, blah, blah, blah. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to get emails, usernames, um, um, addresses, 
and phone numbers, all right? And then I'm going to tell you guys what we're going to do with them. So just remember that no matter what you're selling, even if you're an affiliate marketer, CPA marketer, whatever you do, you need a like a way to get to people. Like a lot of people just like work on their product all day and just think that's somehow going to manifest some sales. No, first start off with the audience. How do you get the audience? Okay, now next, what we're going to do with that is we're going to do AI email outreach. So we're going to create a, uh, an account on Instantly and Instantly allows you to connect 5, 10, 15 different dang on email accounts accounts right that way you're not getting blacklisted and going straight to the spam folder and it has a uh, ai warm-up meaning like it'll drip feed it and do all of this stuff for a little while so that you don't get like like we said blacklisted sometimes you guys are prospecting and you're wondering why you're not getting responses you think people saw your offer and just think it sucks but chances are it went straight to the spam folder okay so um, this will allow us to warm up and then do these little email blasts on autopilot. So you plug in your list, your email list that you scraped or that you've accumulated from other partners or whatever, if you want to. And then you, you format your offers and everything to get people on your platform and, and boom, it just starts going out on autopilot every single day. You don't even have to worry about it. As long as you have a link going back to the site, they'll be able to sign up on their own. So you want to make sure you have your back end pause stuff set up because people will be going to your directory. Okay. And what is your, what, what is the optimum amount of email sequence? Is it three or five or seven that you put them in? Well, um, or does it matter? It can be endless. And I say that because remember I told y'all I, I really don't like unless it's just something that I just I'm, I just really have to sell. I really don't like sending uh follow-ups with the same offer more than you know a couple times. Uh it, I'll do it uh in the morning, in the afternoon, and then in the evening. But once I know that they had to have seen it at least one of the times and they haven't responded, then I, I feel like we should try to find a different angle. So if you can change your angle, then it can be limitless. So all you do is you find out uh, or not find out, you list out all of the benefits or the pain points that your product, your directory, your service, whatever it is, is going to help solve, okay? And then that is a different email every time, right? So if you got 20 different uh, uh, pain points or pleasures or whatever, now you got 20 uh, different, you know, outreach, you know, uh, scripts and everything. So I can't give a number on there, but if you're going to be just saying the same thing, every email, Hey, yo, did you get, did you get the message? Did you, did you see the other email and all of that? Then I wouldn't recommend no more than, you know, three or four before they begging to get off your list or, or block you or something. Right. So nice. if you have different little, little ways of scripting it and getting them to, so basically what it's doing, you guys, is you're you're trying to get them to see uh how it can help them and just off of first um what do you call it uh the perceived value is not you know uh or is i'm sorry i, I can't think of the freaking word as early <laughs> like uh you know normally the perceived value of what you're trying to sell is not articulated on the first touch point which right. is why people why people do uh, retargeting, right? But if you retarget and you're saying the same thing again, then chances are you just wasting money again, right? Like dog, like for example, if I do a video talking about drop servicing and I use the words drop servicing, okay, a, a huge percentage of that audience uh, that I'm targeting might not have ever heard of that word before, but they thought, that the, the business model was cool how I explained it, right? 
Okay, but they didn't, a percentage of them didn't take action because it's still kind of fuzzy to them. So now when I circle back around with the retargeting ad, I'll name it service arbitrage this time. You see what I'm saying? Because it's still drop servicing, but now they'll perceive it as, okay, I know what arbitrage is. Okay, so they're arbitraging the service, right? Okay, then now when I loop back around again for those that didn't take action on it, now I'll use a brand that is doing exactly what my product or service is doing. So now they can see, okay, it works, is proven to work this business model right here. So I can hit them endless times, but I want it to be different every time to give a whole nother like 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 bundle of value to them to where it's like, okay, now I know exactly what this is and how this can help me. But if I keep hitting them with the same uh, uh, verbiage and the same angles and stuff, they'll be like, dude, I didn't get it the first time and I still don't understand it this time. Right. And then it just want to get rid of your ads and block you then. So when you're doing email outreach, guys, like yo, your first email can be, okay, we're going to do this AI automation for you, blah, 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 okay? Then the next one could uh, be one of the automations, okay? So on your website, when people come there, you might have to answer questions or whatever. But if you don't want people calling you, we can have this, your frequently asked questions plugged into this AI bot, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so then if they don't answer back with that one, you can automate the calls. Hey, do you have to answer phone calls live? Are you paying somebody to answer the phone? Do you have a secretary receptionist? We can cancel those people out with a combination of this software and this uh, Zapier plugin, blah, blah, blah. Boom, hit us back. Okay, they don't get that. And then you hit them back with a different example of it's, it's still all AI automation, but now you're hitting it from different angles. You understand what I'm saying? One of those chances are we'll be like mm, man that would make things easier for me right exactly. so we want, we want to do that with the directory right so the issues uh that wellness uh um you know practitioners are having things they're struggling with or whatever we'll make a list of all of those things and those will be the things the messages that we plug in the email sequences and then uh direct them back here so we just want to make sure that our directory or your directory in this example um, and can actually help them with those things. And it doesn't happen. Listen, everybody, your diary is not about how many apps are the exact same? How many video games and movies are the exact same? Okay. It's not about the actual platform itself doing some donkey trick. It's about how you position it. Okay, it's about the extras, the bonuses, the benefits that come with it. Okay, the every single phone does the exact same thing, but how they position it and they have added uh, add-ons and stuff that are unique. So you'll choose T-Mobile over Sprint because of the plan might be different, but the phone is the same. So you 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 do that you find out the pain points and the pleasure uh pleasures that uh apply to your niche or for your directory and then you figure out how to add those on uh you know solutions on or bonuses on uh in the back end of your email sequences and everything hey did you know that when you become a member of this wellness directory uh we're also going to place you in the snack pack at no extra cost come on man come on what what director is doing that? Exactly. Right? You see what I'm saying? So like like that has nothing to do with the platform itself, but it has something to do with the customer or the client that you want on the platform. So now you're just giving them another reason to lock on and become dependent on your platform. Okay. So it, that type of stuff. Okay. Right. Like, yeah. Like dog. Like um. I had to shut down Passenger Pigeon because I was having problems with it. But Passenger Pigeon was a pretty much just a, a lead magnet. I created a, a or had a, a, a cloned out a whole SMS platform just to use as a lead magnet for real estate agents because I knew that they do prospecting all day. 
<laughs> and they do cold right. calling and they're doing all of that. So I was like, yo, you'll get six months free on this SMS blast platform. Well, I had to cripple out the other SMS blast pra- uh, platforms. Six months free? Like, dog, they're not even going to remember that <laughs> six months free. And then now I have all of their information and I can I can sell them the other stuff. You see? Exactly. Right? Like, give them something that they're going to pay for. They got to pay for that if they want to use leverage. Give them that stuff for free. Everybody else look at it different. They be like, yo, they need this, so I'm going to charge for it. No, 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 no. The stuff that you know that they need and LLC and all of these extra different things, like try to find a way to either severely discount or give that away. That way, that immediately upon contact, like the first touch point, you build trust with them. They're like, damn, everybody else was going to charge me 5K for that. And they giving this away. So like, okay. So now when you can, when you deliver that and just because you discount it or give it a free, like make it awesome. Don't, don't be like, hey, this free. You can't complain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Still make it awesome, right? Because then they'll still leave you and go to pay somebody else. So make it awesome to where they're grateful. And then now when you suggest the other stuff, man, like dog, like, okay, so if I give the realtors um, the the free SMS blast software, now I can tell them, and then guess what? We also have this directory that's going to bring the inbound leads to you. The SMS, you're, you're doing outreach with that actively, but passively, we could be bringing inbound leads. All it is is an extra 50 bucks per month. Boom. Like, I mean, what? See? So... <laughs> All right. So, all right. So the AI, AI email outreach, that mm-hmm. is the first plan. And, and for anybody watching, this goes for pretty much all of the platforms, um, you know, the affiliate networks, all of this, the same strategy. You know, you want to have your, your irresistible offers that help with the, the pain points, as many pain points and pleasures as you can come up with. And, uh, you know, that's the stuff we're going to be using for the outreach and stuff. Okay. So next, now that we have that list that has the usernames on there. What usernames? IG usernames, Facebook usernames, LinkedIn, all of that extra stuff. We can use bots to do automated reach out or outreach. All right, like we have DM bots, okay? IG DM bots. You can Google that. I, I think it's like, uh, it has a free version on the Google Chrome store. And then when you want the pay version to do it unlimited, it's only $10 a month. Boom. And it allows you to like automate this. And you, if you got multiple social media accounts and stuff, you can literally be running like 20, 10 different accounts and just be DMing people all freaking day. Like, yo, uh, your wellness, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, your wellness directory, your wellness warriors uh, uh, profile is incomplete. We've done the first half for you, but in order to access these leads we have for you, upload your photos of what you're selling or your service and then leave the link that that will be the dm just going out to all of these people like super and 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 just just to back up really quick is there any program that you recommend for the scraping um i mean there's a whole bunch um you can just pretty much go to now they're like super easy to access you can go to google chrome store and and, uh just type in their data scrapers but Okay. There's one right here. I didn't know it was going to flip the dang on uh, page, but this one is called Instant Data Scraper right here. I showed it in that video the other day. Uh, yep. Instant Data Scraper and then IG uh, email extractor. Called, it's called Grow Man. Uh, and then for like outreach on Facebook and Facebook groups and all of that is one called Lead Book. Like there's a whole bunch of them, yeah. I probably do a video. Beautiful. On it. Okay. Yeah. But All right. yeah, like you to automate the DMs and stuff. And then you can also like get custom ones. Go on Fiverr, y'all. Like I wouldn't go on Fiverr. Look, listen. I wouldn't go on Fiverr for backlinks. You know, unless it's like a press release or something. But I would go on Fiverr for like like different other other little stuff, like little plugins or or little like bots and stuff like man since 
since early was like 2017 or 18 or something. I've been I'm, that's why I was saying like this. They be rewording and renaming a lot of this stuff. But if you go look on my old content, I've been using bots and like stuff like I macros and stuff since it first came out. So you can have some. You can just go to Fiverr and have somebody uh, just type in I macros and you know I macros Instagram, and you can have one of them dudes for twenty bucks create you a, a iMacros automation, web browser automation, whatever you want to call it, where it will uh, record, you record yourself doing the task once, and then it, it records you, and then it imitates you. So let's say you got the list, right? And then you take an email from the list, and then you open up Gmail, you place it into Gmail, and then you paste in your, your message, and then you press send, and then you go back to the list and get another Gmail, I mean, uh, email, and do that action again. It Once you record that, it'll literally just keep repeating that until you turn it off or press pause. And you can... <laughs> And you can schedule like how like how many seconds in between it does it and all of that so it won't get your account banned and all like this stuff been around, y'all. This AI automatic, like I say, people just be renaming stuff and then it go viral. But this stuff been around, man. So yeah, just use Fiverr for little stuff like that. It's super cheap, right? That's why I say, hey, don't even charge for that type of stuff because eventually, yeah, you know, like that stuff is not. I mean, it's valuable, but it ain't worth charging two thousand dollars for for you know a client. You know what I'm saying? And when they figure that out, they'll never trust you again. Trust me, I know from experience. When people figure out like how easily they can do what you do, you know, some people think that's genius. Then other people get offended by it. You're <laughs> like, dog. <"No." laughs> that's why I always teach you like if you or drop servicing, make sure you uh, add value on top of that if you're going to increase the price. Like, make sure you don't, you know, that that way when they find a regular website, they ain't like, hold on, I can get it cheaper here. No. Okay, fine. But you can't get this there if you go to the original site. So always add something, Mike. All right. But anyway, let's move on. So after the DMs, we want to move to the AI vo voice calls. All right, so a lot of y'all be cold calling and stuff, and you know, I, you know, back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But someday, now I'm just playing. All right, <laughs> back in the day, I used to, you know, cold call and everything. But I quickly, because I have a well, had a temper, a temper, a temper that'll make you want to hunt one of these business owners down. Like, good thing I was doing my cold calls from Mexico, Missouri, instead of from St. Louis, because I would have hopped in the car real quick and went to see some of these dudes. But uh, <laughs> so I had to figure out, I, I was either going to quit, you know, doing marketing and all of that stuff, or I had to figure out how to not have to talk to these people, like, unless they actually wanted to talk to me. So I... I don't want to say I pioneered it, but I started doing something back when nobody was doing videos about it called voicemail calls. And a lot of people would call like in the evening and stuff and then end up leaving a voicemail when they would prospect. But me, I would call right before their opening in the morning, like maybe 30 to 40 minutes before so that my voicemail wouldn't be buried beneath the snow of everybody else's from last night. So my voicemail will be the first or one of them that they'll hear in the morning. All right. So this is just the way to automate that now. Right. So now you will automate that. So we'll take those people from that same list. Good thing about having a list is, is multi touch points. So they got the they either got the DM from you. They either got the freaking email. You know, they're going to they're, they're going to get your message. It's like what, you know, God said in the Bible. In the end, when Judgment Day happened, nobody will be able to say they weren't ever warned, no matter what. If you never went to a church before, if you never, like, it doesn't matter. Somebody, whether it was a bum on a bus, somebody didn't warn you to get your life right. And you was like, please get the hell out of here with that positive stuff. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, uh, what Nas say to the, no, 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 DMX say to Nas, 
DMX said, he said, don't hit me with that positive. You know you lying. <laughs> you really want to stop it's from dying? Stop me from trying. But anyway, like right. that, that's how people are. Like they don't really want to like, you know, hear it. So, but anyway, back to what I was saying. So this will automate voicemail calls. It's called a ringless voicemail blast or drop. So you'll just upload the list of the local business numbers or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And you'll schedule it out to go out. Now, some people are like, well, when they call back, I still got to answer it live. Well, no, you don't. It is a company called Call Fire and a company called Call Rail and a company called Twilio that will give you a tracking number. You can get an 800 number or you can get a local number. All right. So this is the number that you will plug into this voicemail drop for people to call back. And when they call that number back, you will say, yes, uh, you have received a call from the wellness warriors directory. And we just wanted to offer you blank, blank, irresistible offer. Insert there, call to action, call, uh, press one uh, to be sent the text message with the link to your profile to complete it, press two to be sent, um, you know, more information on this or blah, blah, blah. Press three to leave a voicemail to be called back or something with your name and number and press four to be removed from the list permanently, blah, blah, blah. Boom. So you never have to answer the phone live if you don't want to. You can add that as a prompt if you want to, but like me, I like to weed the BS out. So i rather go to the, the IVR, that's what it's called, and give them an option to be text with the directory link, um, uh, leave a voicemail to be called back if they're interested or, you know, just want to curse me out, <laughs> or, you know, or, you know, be removed from the list or blah, blah, blah. But yeah, you don't have to talk to nobody live anymore, y'all. Those days, is that's gone because you don't have to. And then you can send them to a freaking webinar just from from this. Yeah, I mean, if they got more questions and stuff, like, like, hey, press one to be put on a booking calendar if you're ready to buy, or press one for the you know buy now link if you want to say that. Press two if you want to be sent a link to a, a short 15 minute webinar that explains how this works. Press three if you want to leave a voicemail. You know, I'm saying blah 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 blah. So you don't have to talk to anybody live anymore. So when you're filling up your assets, guys, all of this stuff can be plugged into AI and be automated. Uh, you know, of course, we got to set things up first and then, you know, blah, blah, blah. All right. So then we're going to create joint venture partnerships in the wellness niche, right? Like we'll create those integration points. We were just talking about this before we press play or record on this video where we'll create these integration uh, partnerships. And, you know, for example, with the business, uh, you know, like LLC companies, um, uh, who else? Uh, business card companies, uniform companies. Um, uh, oh, my bad. How about this? Since this is a wellness company. Yeah. Like the, like the scrubs, the scrubs uniforms and, you know, uh, um, you know, medical, ooh, medical equipment companies. Ooh, just thought of that one off the top. All right, like <laughs> medical equipment companies. Think of who goes to their actual websites and to make orders like wellness practitioners, wellness, you know what I'm saying? People like that. So we integrated our directory offer with some of these uh, existing wellness practitioners uh, or business companies in this niche. They can be pretty much a lot of the promotion that we even need, like, because they're already getting traffic. They're all, think about it, like jump in front of money that is already moving. Uh, Andrew Tate said it simply like that. I like that. He said, jump in front of money that's already moving. <laughs> if you want to get rich fast, jump in front of money that's already moving. <laughs> so when you find these partners that you know are getting traffic, you know they're getting traffic, they're getting clients, they're getting customers, they're getting all that already. They're not at the beginning point or whatever. Find a way that you can be of value. So with these people that we're talking about, maybe we'll help them get more clients in exchange for them being our uh, uh, integration partner. We'll set up something that doesn't cost us any money or not too much time in exchange for them being our integration partner. And then the good thing about it is since they're already existing, that means you can start profiting from day one. 
you can start getting members on your platform from day one of your integration partnership, right? So that's extremely powerful. So that all happens before, boom. Now, this is part of the profit recycle that I always talk to you guys about. You'll take not the money that you have now, but money that you make from the uh, you know previous methods that we were talking about. Unless you just like freaking like impatient or something and you're just ready to throw up some Facebook ads and and play less gamble, right? But uh <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, this is usually the last like the last part. And even with the ads, most of the time we try to uh, uh, make all of our paid ads warm ads. Like I don't really like to go after just cold traffic, you know what I'm saying, with no type of offer, or let alone the directory because there's so many directories out there. So what we'll do, remember at the beginning, we said we're going to create a channel and we're going to create a lot of content, extremely valuable content uh, for these wellness practitioners. And then we'll retarget them with paid ads but they are already familiar with some of our content. All right. They're already familiar with, you know, uh, you know, the, the platform if we showcased it in a couple of videos or whatever now. Okay. Or let's say that you don't feel like making a YouTube channel or a YouTube content or whatever. Okay. Retarget a video that's already existing on YouTube that is similar to what your platform operates like or what it looks like or what service you have to offer or whatever. That way it's still a warm audience, okay? Don't just go out and just target by keywords and all of that stuff. That stuff is dead, okay? Target audiences that are already warmed up for you and then it won't have to cost a hundred bucks to get your first client on Facebook or some bull crap like I be hearing people talk about. They be sitting there praising that, like that's a good cost per acquisition. That is horrible especially if you're a beginner and you don't have a big budget or a credit card to use for ads. A hundred bucks to get on a call, not a not hundred bucks a sale, a hundred bucks to get on a call. What if their closing methods suck, right? So, <laughs> dude, that sucks, right? So warm, warm market. So market. So we're going to test paid ads after we already have warm audiences. And those are the ways, amongst others that I haven't went over today here, that will fill up platforms, guys. So me and Curtis and the rest of them, this is what we're going to be doing to try to fill up our platforms for the 2002, hold on, 2024, right? Okay. So Curtis, did you want to say anything before we ride out into the sunset? No, I, I think that is uh, an excellent uh, methodology and it, it literally, if you're shy or if you don't want to um, really, you know, if, if you're shy and, and you really don't want to get in front of people or talk to people, these methodologies and using AI, the technology will, will really, uh, one, help speed up the process. And two, you don't, you don't have to do that. You can, you can be successful without, you know, you bring per se the brand, uh, but you're organization being the brand for sure for sure okay man so do you recommend people get like assets and stuff like let's say that they're like new into entrepreneurship do you if they use stuff like this with their assets how like what what percentage do you believe would be successful with something like this Actually, I, you know, first, those who take action, so you got to take some action, right? Um, yes, but be, be beyond that, um, I, I think, you know, well over 80% of people, uh, 90% of people can be very successful with just consistency. A little go. bit, a little bit at a time, you know, based on your own pace um, and, and your appetite for for not only a, a learning curve, because you got to go through a little learning curve, um, sure. but your appetite for uh, how much money you want to make initially, uh, you you can do this. Everybody can actually do this. And again, with the with the technology that we have, there really isn't any excuse not to be successful. For sure, for sure. See, man, and, and he made a point. You, in order to cash in. You got to put in action. You know what I'm saying? Without action, there is no cash in. So even though 
is a platform, guys, and you're not building. I hope you guys aren't trying to build the platform itself, right? Leverage, right? Um, you do have to start the snowball. But guess what? Once the snowball starts going down the mountain, it becomes what? It becomes an avalanche, yeah, right? An avalanche, absolutely. So it builds up the momentum through the velocity on its own. So what how, what terms can, like, how can we put that in layman's terms with, with, with the directory? Okay, so the platform itself, we're not building it. That's cool. The platform is a snowball, but it's stagnant. It's just in one place. All right, we start doing some of these outreach methods and these joint uh, venture partnerships and everything. That begins to push the snowball down the hill or down the mountain then it becomes unstoppable. What do I mean by that? All right, once you get the few people on the platforms and they're starting to get uh, good results, they create user-generated content. What do I mean by that? Okay, so let's say we got these wellness practitioners on this platform. You don't have to really tell people to promote themselves because it's their business. So when they have a profile, a lot of these dudes don't even have their own websites. So when they have a profile, where do you think they're going to put it? They're going to put it on their social media platforms on their own without you telling them to. I mean, you can incentivize them more too if you want to, but you, they'll do it without you telling them to. And guess who is in their friends list? Other wellness practitioners. Right. So their user generated content, every time they post, hey, y'all, you know, get our services off of Groupon. Hey, we got a new Groupon deal. Groupon is not actively advertising or promoting themselves just by giving them the uh, option to place their deal on there, Groupon is getting all the promotion they need, right? right. So when you create the platform, you create the, 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 the platform, the housing for the offers, then the, the participants go and promote it themselves because it benefits not just you, it benefits them to be able to have a, 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 a somewhere to host their offer. That's right. right. Absolutely right. So there, go ahead. There was one other thing um, that that people may uh, that we could possibly quickly fill in the gap for people, Yasriel. Mm -hmm. and, and that would be, you know, the pain points. And I know that like in some of the videos you taught people how to find the pain points literally through chat GPT. Um, yeah. And that would be, I think, helpful for people to understand. So if I have, if I, if I go over to chat GPT and I have a script that identifies pain points for wellness practitioners, then mm -hmm. I can, like in my series, my email series, like you talked about, I can build on that. So if it, if, if it gives me 15 pain points, I can not only give a pain point, but the next one, I may have 30 email sequences, I have a pain point, and then I have a, a sequence that says, here's how XYZ doctor overcame that pain point. Yeah, you know, see? Through yeah. that process. But so, and, that, and that's exactly how you want to do it, guys. We don't want to just uh, point out what's wrong and then dip out. Those are called what kind of people? Pessimistic or that's negative, me. right? <laughs> so we want to also... Uh, offer a solution that way people can't say we just drop bombs on them you understand <laughs> uh, but yeah so yeah for real like uh the pain points i mean it, if you just create a platform just for the sake of having a platform uh the the most successful marketing campaigns are like just just advertising campaigns period for it, it doesn't matter what company it is the most like profitable ones are the ones that are built off the back of movements, cults, or causes. All right. So if you can have a cause, you know, and, and the, the cause is formulated by these pain points and stuff, right? The movement is formulated uh, by these pain points and everything. Then you'll have a way higher conversion rate. So uh, like in the video, I was just talking about, uh, I dropped that mug at 7.45 this morning. Uh, I was talking about, I was talking about like, uh, the company that cares the most makes the most. The customer obsession needs to be high because then you'll constantly be an innovator, not just an innovator of your platform itself, but an innovator with your offers. You'll constantly be trying to think of ways to make things uh, more comfortable or 
are more beneficial for your clients or your customers and stuff if you become obsessed with their happiness. Um, so yeah, yeah. So excellent. I think that's it. That's, that's <laughs> good. That's good. All right. So well, me and you, Curtis, a little bit later, either not today, a little bit later this week, we'll hop back on the call and we'll probably start ranking some stuff for this directory too, too. Um, but yeah, for the positioning and everything. But yeah, I mean, I guess you can wave bye to the people watching. <laughs> they, they can't see you. So. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, y'all. So, I mean, it takes action to cash in. So if you don't have no assets, that's probably why you ain't got no cash yet. Bars, all right? Um, talk Bars. to y'all later.